Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing video, I'm doing a request for Sonic the Artificial Intelligence. Uh, you sent this in last week over on the channel, so thank you so much for that. I hope this is the Pac-Man that you're looking for. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Don't forget to stay till the end. I've got a few secret tips just to make this pop. As always, I pencil uh, a freehand sketch in. I used a Caran Dash 2H pencil for this. And then the rest of the drawing was used uh, was done by using my Copic markers. I used a golden yellow for the majority of Pac-Man. And I tried to keep this line free. So what you'll notice with this drawing is after the pencil lines, I didn't go over this with my Faber-Castell pit pen. I wanted to try and keep this as line free as possible. The basic shape of Pac-Man uh, is a circle, or in this case, it's a sphere. And I really would recommend you guys out there learning how to draw a sphere. I'm going to link a video above so that you can um, you can have a go at that. Uh, I draw a sphere and talk you through how to draw a sphere with a pencil. But once you've mastered the sphere, you are going to be able to draw and add dimension to pretty much anything. I'm using a black pencil crayon uh, to add some depth and dimension. So around the nose, I'm finding the darkest areas. And this is what I'm really talking about now. So I'm actually adding some darker shaded areas to uh, both sides of Pac-Man and underneath. I'm imagining that the light is coming from a sort of a top left direction, which means that the underside of Pac-Man and the right hand side are going to be the darkest areas. This just gives the, the, the look of a dimensional object rather than a flat subject on a piece of paper. Once you've learned how to do this, like I say, with pencil or uh, whatever medium you're using, you are going to be able to transfer those skills across uh, into anything. I used a chrome orange for Pac-Man's uh, boxing gloves that he has on. And then on his trainers, I used a cadmium red followed by a cool gray one. In all aspects of this drawing, I am using the black pencil crayon just to bring out the shaded areas. And as I'm sure you'll agree, this does really add a new dimension to the drawing and it really does make it look more three dimensional. The final thing that I do with this drawing is I add a shadow underneath Pac-Man's feet. This just gives a sense that Pac-Man's actually standing on something rather than floating in midair. I'm really enjoying these request videos, guys. So if you do have anything that you'd like me to draw, don't forget, send me them down below in the, in the comments. Also, don't forget to hook up with me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and the links to all of my social media are down below in the descriptions. I'm really enjoying doing the cartoon characters, uh, but I, I can do anything, ultra realistic things. I can do portraits, graphite portraits, uh, celebrities. So just let me know what you want me to do. Um, don't forget, send me a, a message down below and hook up with me on social media. And today's question is, Who's your favourite video game character from back in the day? Who's your favourite retro game character? Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.